Good morning. I'm Evangelist Stella Johnson of Word of God Ministry. Welcome to Kingdom Awareness, hosted by my husband, Pastor Bruce Johnson of Word of God Ministry. We are a new ministry in the area, a non-denominational church that focuses on your purpose through kingdom teaching, which we believe will always result in kingdom living. We are in your neighborhood seeking to serve you. Come as you are. Worship service, Saturday at 12 p.m. Bible study, Thursday at 6 p.m. Care discussion, the last Thursday of the month at 6 p.m. Caring Hands to Hands, our outreach ministry, the last Friday of the month at 1 p.m. Kingdom Awareness, every Sunday from 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. on Gospel 88.7 FM WEHA. We can be located on Facebook under Word of God Ministry and YouTube under Pastor Bruce B. Johnson. All are welcome. This morning, Pastor Bruce Johnson, along with Pastor Marlene Jackson of Seek Ye First, the Kingdom of God International Ministry, as well as myself will be discussing the truths of the kingdom of God, which will give us insight to what Christ actually came to give us and to attempt to remove the mass that religion has filtrated our minds with. We look forward to meeting again with you every Sunday from 10 a.m. to 1030 a.m. And we are anticipating the spirit of God to give us clear understanding as we begin our discussion. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. He is so awesome in all that he does. Yes, yes he, is. he is. And we are thankful. And, and we just recognize today that everything we have belongs to him. Mm. Glory. The mere fact that we woke up this morning mm. is because we survived. Hallelujah. By his grace. Thank Amen. you. And that's just another aspect of being able to give him the glory, mm. the honor, and the praise mm. for yes. who he is. And who he's Amen. made us to be Amen. in Amen. the Messiah. Amen. I thought we would discuss this morning a little bit about principles. Amen. Amen. A uh, principle is defined as a fundamental truth upon which other laws are based. Amen. The thing I like about principles is that once they're established, they never change. Mm -hmm. Once they're okay. established, you can use them anywhere. Yes. Hmm. This is the the product that actually makes God's word something that we can totally rely on hmm. because they never change. Hmm. It never changes Amen. Amen. based on Amen. the principles of his kingdom. Now, in the natural, every government has principles that govern their way of doing things. Yes. Same thing with the kingdom of God. Yes. There is no difference. Amen. The thing is, what we as believers have to learn to do is as we're seeking God, as we're searching the word, we got to be able to see the principles. Amen. See, the principles of kingdom operate totally different from this worldly system that we live in. Mm. Because things like we believe and we are taught, we got to get up every day, go to work, to make a living mm -hmm. wherein in the kingdom it's the king's responsibility to take care of all the citizens mm -hmm. totally opposite from what we are accustomed to mm -hmm. but God is such a God that he wants us to understand I think about this verse um, a lot the word says that Moses knew God's ways but the children of Israel knew his acts hmm. Now, you look at the comparison of, the, of these two uh, individuals. Moses, Bible says, he was faithful. He was a faithful servant. Mm -hmm. In spite of his mishaps, mm. you know, he hit the rock twice. Mm -hmm. As a result, he didn't enter the he promised land. Mm -hmm. But God still turned around and called him faithful. Yes. When mm -hmm. it came to the children of Israel, a lot of times God said, you're stiff-necked. Mm -hmm. You, mm -hmm. you. You keep hardening your heart to me. Mm -hmm. how, all, how many signs and miracles do I have to show you mm -hmm. before you say, I surrender? Mm -hmm. And we're just like that sometimes yes. in the natural. Mm -hmm. um, like, say, for instance, with our parents, mm -hmm. okay? Our parents do for us and do for us and do for us. 
And sometimes their children walk around ungrateful Mm -hmm. because of a bad attitude. And sometimes we have a tendency to take God for granted. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when we do that, that is going to cost us in the long run. Mm -hmm. And then the murmuring and complaining, Complaining. regardless to what God had did for the Israelites, Mm -hmm. he took care of them. Like you said, it's the king's job to take care of all of his subjects. And he did that. And like you said, over and over and over again, he showed so many signs to them. And they still, yet not, took it to heart Amen. and was grateful. Yeah. They were very, very ungrateful. Yes. And I want to mention the principle. One of the principles, just in case someone's not familiar with it, is the um, gravity. We know that you can throw something up, no matter how big or how small, it's going to come down. Well, God has a principle. He says faith comes by hearing. So if you don't hear the word, if you don't position yourself in a church home to hear the word, you cannot get faith because it comes by hearing. A person can sit up and try to tempt God and says, well, he said that um, if I throw myself, I think it was Jesus um, when Satan came to try mm-hmm. to tempt him to throw yourself. And Matthew's four. You don't tempt God. You know you're going to fall because gravity is, is going to stay. That principle does not change no matter what. And same with God's word. There's a lot of principles in his word, and we need to adhere to them if we expect to get what he has given us. Well, notice, go back to Moses. Moses knew God's ways, Mm -hmm. not his acts. Mm -hmm. Big difference. Because God's ways is what are consistent. Mm -hmm. His acts are based on us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What we do, what we don't do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or Mm -hmm. or rather we obey or disobey. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. See, but his ways are consistent. Yes. They never change. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm reminded, um, when you look at a passport, for instance, a passport never says this is the property of such and such, mm-hmm. the person that's in the picture on, on the passport. Mm-hmm. It always says it's the property of the government. Yes, mm-hmm. it does. Mm-hmm. Where that person is from. Mm-hmm. Well, God's kingdom is like that. Mm-hmm. God has actually stamped us <laughs> his. as his. his. Yes. We are property of the government. Mm. But it, we got to come to understand this government that, that yeah. we're property yeah. of. Amen. He says we're citizens of heaven. Amen. Yes. God says our citizenship. Thanks mm-hmm. for mentioning that. Our citizenship is not in this earth, even mm-hmm. though we live in this earth. Mm-hmm. Our citizenship is in heaven. Mm. And joint heirs with Christ (laughs) joint heirs so everything that he has Mm -hmm. we have and our conversation what does it say our lifestyle is in heaven Mm -hmm. amen Mm -hmm. even though we're sojourners here because we have a mission here the original intent. intent. Amen. We're That's, the sent ones yes. to Called get the out. job done. Yes. We are the sent ones to cry out loud, mm. hear ye, hear ye. The kingdom of God is Hallelujah. knocking. And that's what we are to do. And he says, you have not chosen me. I have chosen, chosen you. you. Another principle. Amen. Exactly. See? Another principle. And, and that's what I mean. Understanding the word of God for what it Amen. is. Amen. I mean, how we think. We're going to come to Christ, never get understanding of how he functions, how Mm -hmm. this government functions, Mm -hmm. and yet expect us to live in it is beyond me. We have to have understanding of what he's called us to. Mm. What about those who literally, I mean literally believe that all they need to do is go to church? That's it. There's much more to it than that. Mm -hmm. That, but there's a lot of yes. people. Oh, yes. If you ask the question, I go here's to another principle. Mm-hmm. Are you saved? Yes, I'm saved. I go to church every Sunday. And in their mind and in their heart, they believe that that is their just due because they go into a church house there's every so week. More. And they feel that that's all it takes well, see, for their salvation. Here's mm-hmm. the ways coming into play. Mm-hmm. It's just like the aspect of our worship. Mm. How can we truly worship God 
and never recognize him as the owner of everything. Everything. Yeah. And then ask yourself the question, if we haven't as of yet recognized him in our worship as the owner of everything, including ourselves, mm -hmm. then what are we really offering? You asked the question yes. yesterday uh -huh. in service a couple of times. What is it that we are willing oh work? What is it that we're giving unto him that we're counterfeiting as worship? But in people's hearts, they believe they sing a song. They read a scripture. Wow. They say a few oh amens and hallelujahs. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's their worship. Well, we need to understand that it's going to get worse before it gets better in numbers. Mm -hmm. And God says in his word for a reason, if you won't worship me, the rocks will cry right. out unto yes. me. And he also says in all you're getting, get understanding. understanding. And Man. you cannot get truly get understanding unless you plug in totally to a thing. Because it's just like we, we get different appliances and we get the manual and we never read that manual. Abuse is inevitable because you have not find, found out the totality of what that product can Amen. do. And that's what we do as we come into the house. We don't get a total understanding. Some, I, I, I hope that is not the case where they come in and just think, I've arrived and that's all there is mm -hmm. to it. Because God's word says, hear and do what? Do. do be here so it's more words. than just well. listening and sitting there and you got to get understanding amen. Amen. And, and see the word of god tells us don't be a, a hearer only mm. only and, and notice deceiving yourself mm. now what amen see deceiving yourself self-deception is the worst deception there mm. is it's married to self-righteousness <laughs> mm. yes self-deception mm -hmm. and self-righteousness they, couples. They're couples. Yeah. They're married together. Yeah. And who did God say this to? Get away from me. I never knew you. Those were the At people the that said, did I do this in judgment. your name? They were saying that they did a lot of things in his name, even casting out demons. So evidently they did do it mm -hmm. because now they're thinking, I'm, I'm here. I should be here. And God said, I never knew you. Because their you hearts were weren't right. Mm. He said, you evil mm. doers of iniquity. Mm. So that the means difference. you fashioned it mm. in your mind to do. Iniquity is usually planned. It's just not a sin. You Yes. And you keep doing it over and over mm -hmm. again. And, and see, you can always find things to relate it to, mm -hmm. even if we don't understand. Mm -hmm. God gives us practical examples. Mm -hmm. I think of uh, places like Howard Johnson's, for instance. If you decide you wanted to have a, a conference in the ballroom of Howard Johnson's, well, you don't just go there, pay, and sign <laughs> your name. No, they give you a listing yes. of rules and regulations yes. that you have mm -hmm. to abide by to uphold mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. name Howard yes. Johnson. Amen. Yes. Kingdom of God, again, mm -hmm. is the same way. Mm -hmm. We don't come to Christ and act any kind of way. Mm -hmm. My God. Or do any kind of thing. No, we don't. Lifestyle must change. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thinking must change. And repent. And the only thing that God has ascribed to change your mind, to change the way you think, is the gospel of the kingdom. Amen. 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 He started his ministry out. Mm. Amen. Repent <laughs> Amen. for the kingdom is at hand, is among you. Mm. And you've got to realize, look at the word among. Among mm. in the Greek is a preposition, number one. Applying, implying that the reason the kingdom is there mm. <laughs> is because the king is there. Amen. Amen. See, wherever the king goes, his authority follows him. Mm. His dictatorship follows him. Amen. And that's how it's supposed to be with every citizen. I mean, we're citizens of the United States. Mm -hmm. Don't we live by laws, yes. rules, regulations of the United States? And yes. we'll follow mm -hmm. them for the most part mm -hmm. because there is a repercussion exactly. behind it if you do not. Mm -hmm. But we don't understand that there's a repercussion oh God, if we do not be obedient to the things of God. See, now you mentioned sacrifice. Here's the principle of sacrifice. 
a sacrifice has to cost you. Absolutely. Mm. In order it, in order for it to be honored by, by God. God. David, who was it that said Abraham? Mm. I will not. It was Abraham. I will not offer to God anything that doesn't cost mm. me something. something. Like Even God. His Son. See, that's what a sacrifice it, it, exactly. is. Exactly. Mm. Cost. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. but see, we've been hoodwinked again to believe that a sacrifice can be offered up any kind of way. But you got to always Mm-mm. keep in your mind Mm-mm. who you're dealing with. Amen. You're dealing with a God that's holy. My God. That's majestic. Amen. That's in his august glory mm. could wipe us out in a split second. Mm. And as a result of that, I'm, I mean, go back to the Old Testament. God told the priests, when you come into my presence, mm. I don't even want to see your underwear. My God. Mm-mm. You come correct. Mm-hmm. Isn't a sacrifice without spot, wrinkle, or blemish? And it, that, that it, was Christ. It can be, mm. but go to the natural right. with our children. Mm-hmm. God gave them to us. We are mm. responsible yes. to raise them and train them up in the way that they mm-hmm. should go. And when they grow old, they'll not depart Mm. from it. Proverbs 22 and 6. But I haven't found a perfect parent. But God is. I wasn't a perfect mother and always made the right decisions Mm. with my children. But I had a God that I could go to and say, I need the principle Mm. of what it is that you need for me Mm. to parent this child. Now, you know, I've heard often, there's no book to tell me how to parent my child. Mm -mm. There's no book to tell me how to do this or do that. But yet we fail to realize the Bible, the Holy Bible, is everything that you need to direct you and instruct you. That is the book. Yes, that is the book. That's the instruction book. See, but it's understanding it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And applying. Yes. You got to realize God gave his word, his ordinances. To the Jewish nation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who wrote in both Hebrew and Greek languages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's stop right there for a minute. As these things are translated into our language, Mm -hmm. certain elements of of impact, certain Mm -hmm. elements of meaning are lost. Are lost. And we have to understand that. Yes. Yes. You're not going to, like I used the word love before. We have one basic definition for love, mm-hmm. and we use it in the context. I love my dog. Yes. I love steak. I love my wife. There's no way you can love those things, equal. Those things in the same capacity. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's why now when you go back to the languages, it's like 12 definitions my for God. the word of love. Mm-hmm. Love. Yes. 12. Yes. But if we just look. At John three sixteen, mm, that God says so it all. Loved the world. God so and loved the world. That was the sacrifice yes. that hurt. Yes, yes. And, that, who, and who did it cost? It cost, <laughs> cost him his life. Him. Mm, he See, gave his life him. that he could give us life. Look, if it's the king's responsibility to take care of you, mm-hmm. you can understand why Jesus died for you. What he did. It was the ultimate yes. sacrifice. Mm. The you ultimate. Can, uh, you, you, yes. you can understand. Why his son? Yes. Look at this. His son was on the cross after being brutally Mm. whipped 39 times, made to carry a portion of his cross throughout the town. Mm. My God, set a sacrifice. All the accusations that he was being accused for was Mm. nailed Mm -hmm. to his house. Mm. My God. Then he gets there. And he's nailed to the same cross that he had to carry. My God. Pure obedience Mm -hmm. wrapped in that sacrifice. And yet when he was in the garden, look what he prayed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then came to himself. If at all possible. Mm -hmm. Remove it. Let this cup pass from me. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. Now I'm going to divert you for a second. 
because this is the whole purpose of Word of God ministry. This Sunday is the last Sunday that we're going to be on the air. But God gave us a commission, Word of mm-hmm. God ministry, a commission mm-hmm. to go about and preach about the kingdom. Amen. So for this last part of the segment, if we just can present to you some of the things that Word of God of ministry is, is um, presenting to the public, to the community, because it is very important for us to get the kingdom out because that was one of the commands that God gave us. So um, at this point, I just want to elaborate on some of the things that are coming up for 2020 Mm -hmm. that Word of God ministry will be presenting, as Mm -hmm. well as some of the natural things that we do. Pastor Marlene, if you could share the various meetings that we have during the week. Yes, I would. We would like for you to come out and fellowship with us. And we have different days of different services. And all of our services, with the exception of the replacement of the Kingdom Awareness broadcast. That will be done yet still on Sunday Mm -hmm. from 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. And you can find Pastor Bruce Johnson doing that live on Facebook. So instead of you turning in to your radio station on Sundays from 10 to 10.30, please click on your computer or your cell phone or your car phone, wherever you may be, and take a listen to Pastor Bruce Johnson live on Facebook. Um, Our worship services are every Saturday at 12 p.m. at um, St. Andrew Church, which is located at 936 Baltic Avenue, Atlantic City, New Jersey. We would like you to come and fellowship with us on Saturdays, and you can come as you are. Um, We will also be available for Bible study on Thursday evenings from 6 p.m. until, is it 7, 7.30? 7.30. Until 7.30. Come out and get involved. We have a really, really good time. Mm -hmm. And we get everyone there involved into the studies Mm -hmm. with questions and answers. So please come out and do that. Our care discussion is the last Thursday of the month at 6 o'clock p.m. Um, Caring Hands to Hands Kingdom Outreach Ministry is the last Friday of the month at 1 o'clock p.m. So these are some of the things that we will continue to do, but just under a different venue for here. Mm -hmm. You can also find us under... um, Pastor Bruce B. Johnson on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And again, we're on Facebook under Word of God Ministry. We look forward to seeing you guys and fellowshipping with you as we always have. God bless you. And it has been a pleasure to be in the stead for this time. Yes, it has. And also for the for the year 2020, we will we will be giving various mm-hmm. seminars free because Word of God Ministry believes that freely we have been given and so freely we give. Uh, so we will be having seminars um, next year in the months of January, April, July, October, and December, which we will be sending it out on Facebook and YouTube to let you know about those things. And the various seminars that we'll be having is um, in January. We invite you to come. We will be having our new members class, and following that, we'll be having a spiritual gift survey given to various people that are interested. You don't have to be a member, and you don't have to join up. And the reason being is because that's one of the things that God told us to do, to find our purpose, to bring about the kingdom so Mm -hmm. it's very important Mm -hmm. and so we need to know ahead of time so after January you can give us a call at 609-742-5776 I'll repeat that 609-742-5776 And what we'll be doing is giving you a survey that you can fill out in advance of the meeting, which will take place Thursday, January the 30th at 530. So this way you can find out what your gift and what your calling and purpose is. Like we said, that's very important. So if you're interested, give us a call. Also, the other various seminars we'll be having throughout the year is a relationship. That one is planned for July. Again, all these seminars will be posted on Facebook as well as um, YouTube. We'll have health seminar, finance seminar, and communications. And the reason why we're doing these seminars is because it's very important to get 
everything. God is a holistic God, and we need our people whole. So Amen. therefore, the spiritual gifts, the relationship, because that's important. You got to have to have a proper relationship. You got to know those that labor among you. Amen. And you need to be in good health to do God's will, okay? Mm -hmm. And finance, we need to have proper finance, money, understanding on how to do things so that we can be prepared to live a life where we can go and serve the kingdom without feeling that we don't have the finances to do it. Amen. And lastly, communications. That is important because the enemy always tries to cut off our line of communication. So those are the things that we will be doing. And I want to um, present to um, Pastor Bruce if he can expound on the seminar that we will be having in July um, about relationship. Amen. Basically, we, uh, we want to present God's concept. Glory. Not what we've been taught, not what we've been grown to accept. Mm -hmm. it, bottom line of it all, none of us can, I can't go to a man and ask him how to be a man. A woman can't go to a woman and asked her how to be a woman. Mm -hmm. Because the only one that knows that in your original condition, <laughs> remember, we're in a fallen state. Tell it. So any information we give each other comes from a fallen mindset. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But what does God say? Mm -hmm. What does God say about your womanhood? Mm -hmm. What does God say about your manhood? Mm -hmm. What is it? Is it really yours? You need to understand. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. What we've become in the world is not who God ordained us to be. Amen. That principle must be applied to every aspect of our life. Mm -hmm. So my manhood cannot be based on what I've experienced mm -hmm. because everything I've experienced wasn't good. Mm -hmm. Everything I've, I've experienced wasn't God's will. Amen. See? So what we do is taunt or tarnish mm -hmm each other by giving us giving each other the information that we grew up with mm, yes. but we need to realize something a lot of what you grew up with was not god's will amen amen amen, amen. and also i wanted you to direct about marriage and relationships a lot of people don't realize that their relationship is for god's purpose i, mm -hmm. I think of the various relationships in the bible Joseph and Mary, yeah. <laughs> what did they do? Abraham and Sarah. Mm -hmm. You know, so a lot of us think our marriage is just to have a good time and say I'm married to this person. No. But no, God Far has a it. purpose for that as well. Every, everything in marriage has to be understood mm -hmm. that your purpose is incorporated in, your, in every aspect of your life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, only God could do that. Mm -hmm. Only God could say, I've called such and such for this purpose and then take our entire fallen condition and incorporate that purpose as part of it it's mm. ministry yeah. yes it same thing ministry mm. same thing with and our marriage it's ministry yes. Yes. and we must know the structure of home mm -hmm. at home that structure must be complete it yes. must be followed by god's yes. precepts and the way we raise our children. Yes. How do we teach others mm. that which we don't fulfill ourselves? And in relationships, mm. yes. you hear more wives than husbands who say, it's just amazing how you're nice and you're happy when you're out with other people. As soon as we get to church, <laughs> you're a whole total different man. But as soon as we come back home, mm -hmm. you're retiring. You Who kick the you? dog, you Who cuss, you? you do the, Who and that's you? real. It is, it is really <laughs> real and it's needed. Yes, it's needed. Well, see, again, according to the Bible, your ministry doesn't start outside mm. on the street not at all your, your ministry starts mm. at home that's what the word says so if and we don't have our into. relationship mm -hmm. intact mm -hmm. then just imagine what we're presenting when we go to the outside yes. Mm -hmm. yes and this is why it's so imperative that we come to understand god's perspective yes what does god call a marriage mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what does god demand mm -hmm. and tell us you mm -hmm. want this to work mm -hmm. This Thank is what you, you must do. Thank you, Lord. Follow yes. these principles, no matter how strenuous they may appear to be Amen. on you. That's My nothing God. but pride. My God. Mm -hmm. God says we must lose our pride, mm -hmm. and we must learn on a continual 
basis in every aspect of our life to die. Yes. Amen. Die. And look yes. to what we've become. Time Flesh. is going again. We have exactly one minute left. Um, mm-hmm. uh, like we said before, Word of God ministry, we're trying to equip the saints Amen. Amen. to do the will of God, not our will. Mm-hmm. Our will is not the important thing. Amen. It's God's will. Far so far. we invite you all to come out to our services as we conveyed earlier. Um, we will not be on the air. This is our last Sunday. But like like Pastor Marlene said, and I'm pretty sure Pastor Bruce is feeling the same way, we enjoyed our time with you. Yes. 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 I hope you enjoyed our yes. time that we we come, we talked and discussed the kingdom because it is important. So is there something you two want to say lastly before we get off the air? Um, just for me, just, just for me, Mm -hmm. seek you first is not off the map. Mm -hmm. We're there and we're going to be coming at you also live on Facebook on Saturdays. Don't have a time, time slot set yet, but look for me out there along with Pastor Bruce on Sunday. I'm going to take the, the wheel, the wheel on Saturday and Pastor Bruce is going to have it on Sundays. So come out and look for word of God ministry. Come out and look for seek you first, first. the kingdom of God, international ministry. I love you and I appreciate you and may God continue to bless you. Amen. Yeah. My greatest desire is that God would use us yes. to impregnate mm. birth yes. into his people. Amen. Yes. From, Amen. A, from a real perspective, not from a, a, a condition of wedlock, if mm. I can say it like that. My because God. anything else that, that doesn't come from God is going to be false. Mm-hmm. It's going to be based on falsehood. Yes. But God Amen. wants us to know the truth about this kingdom. Yes. Amen. 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 Shalom. And shalom. And we wish everyone happy holidays. Shalom happy and Baruch Year. Hashem. Amen. And, and 2020 Amen. will give us new visions. Yes. Amen. Amen. We're Amen. excited about what God's doing. Amen. God bless you. God bless you all. <laughs>